My name is Trista Cignano, and this is The Rundown. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us for our second episode of The Rundown. I want to start things out by telling you about a great new app called Flying Colors 3D. This is a fantastic app currently available for free on the Apple's iTunes Store. This app was created by students from the KTH Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden. Back in March, the original version, simply called Flying Colors, was launched. While great, this tool was missing something. Color. Well, this September, the developers expanded on their original idea, and it's better than ever. Still free, this app remains a great tool for children and adults alike. While it may take you a little bit to get used to the program, I strongly suggest sticking with it because it's totally worth it. I love using this app. I highly recommend checking it out. Flying Colors 3D. Just this week, Yupster Media launched a brand new program called Artist Sessions. Each week, Artist Sessions will feature interviews from artists all over the world. This week, Artist Sessions featured Canadian Milner, Tierra Taylor. Tierra is known for her vintage style hats. Be sure to check out her interview and watch for more on yupstermedia.com. Next, let's talk about film. First, I want to tell you about a fantastic documentary called Shake the Dust. This documentary takes the viewer from the ghettos to the favelas, Uganda to Cambodia, as we follow kids and their love of dance, specifically breakdancing. We have been told that the life of the street is all about survival. But we are doing more than just surviving. Our dream is to change the slums. I will start with the basics. Top rock. Yeah. Then we have uh, what I call the basic drop. Yeah. The six step. We sell crack to our own out the back of our homes. We smell the musk of the dusk and the crack of the dawn. We go through Growing up from Islam, I had no voice, low self esteem. Hip hop doesn't belong to any of our traditional cultures. But hip hop brings us together as a family. If I didn't have breakdance in my life, I would have been a thief. Things that I thought were impossible turning into possibilities, you know? In a love, you know what I mean? God love us, hood. We try so hard to see how we can use hip hop to help them reach their goals. We know we can't dance our way out of poverty, but break dancing fills our hearts with hope. I may not have what you have, but I can do what you can do. We speak many languages around the world, but for me, the language of my heart is hip hop. Our story does not make front page news, but we are the real kings and queens of hip hop. Next, Frame by Frame, a powerful documentary offering the viewer the opportunity to experience Afghanistan through the eyes of photojournalists. Journalism and this uh, free situation for media is really new in Afghanistan. I think when the troops leave, we will have a lot of problems. We won't have this, I mean, freedom of speech that we have now. This is a big possibility that the world, I mean, forget us again. That will be the future of the journalism in Afghanistan.
this 10 years have been a different situation for us. Now things are changing in Afghanistan. This is the main time for Afghan photographers to really stand up and to still keep Afghanistan on the news and not let it forget. We didn't have this before. These 10 years was a revolution for photography in Afghanistan, that everybody in Afghanistan tried to record the history and the moment themselves trying to be voice for those people who cannot shout. I think it is the responsibility for, of all photographers and journalists in Afghanistan to not let whatever happened during the Taliban or civil war to happen again. The Taliban will come back somehow. And I feel that I will be one of those people who, I mean, be faced with the revenge of this, I mean, extremists. It may be difficult, but I will find ways. I will always stand for what I believe. The world now is like one body. So all the members of this body should know that one member has a pain and they should feel this, and they should know, and they should find out. That's it for this episode of The Rundown. Let's close things out with a band named after an island off the coast of Georgia called Little Tybee, and their song, Boxcar Fair. Some things to figure out The path that I've chosen Is forking every roundabout Oh, oh, oh.